Jesse's returned, Geralt. After all these years. No man who meets the hunt returns to this world. I returned. Alright, welcome back everybody to a little more Witcher 3 Wild Hunt gameplay. Appreciate y'all stopping on in as, as always. And, let's see, what are we doing? What are we going to do this episode? Well, there's going to be some more exploration. We're going to continue to kind of work this coastline and the wood and probably, hopefully, be rolling into either Black Bow or Mid Cops by the end of this. Now, if you haven't really been following, I'd check out last episode looking off. I mean, you can see there's a lot of carnage out there in... Uh, just strewn about the sea. There's a lot of boats wrecked here along the coastline and into the rocks and, and you know, the sandbar, whatever you want to call it. Um, you know, there was a big collection of pirates uh, that had set up different camps along this beachhead and, and even further down the shoreline as well at this old shack, this old abandoned home. Um, and uh, we, we did a lot of battling against the pirates. I mean, clearly pirating in this neighborhood. Has been good as of late, yes, quite clearly, by all the, uh, you know, the splintered wood behind me, and around me, everywhere, you know. So, uh, there was a lot of pirates got taken out, uh, we were dealing with renegades last episode. Uh, let's take a look at the map and kind of track our progress here. You can, I mean, we've been working our way through this area, through these backwoods, uh, down the shoreline, and... All in, a ho all in the hopes, you know, of, well, uncovering these different points of interest and gaining some experience. Currently, 527 of 1,000 for that next level. Uh, Want to get up to level 7, you know, sometime around when I roll into mid-cops. There's a couple, I've got a couple more options in town to gain some, uh, I would imagine, some quick XP. Uh, I want to get up to level 7 so that I can triumphantly return to the battlefield against Jenny, Jenny of the Woods, yes, and perhaps get some revenge, or at least, you know, initiate a round two with the woman, and hopefully banish her tortured soul once and for all, but for the time being to get there, I want to get to level seven, we've got a few more points of interest scattered about, and there's actually a marker up on the, the map right now, including a point of interest between here and there, so we're heading out towards the sea, um... You know, last episode when we were battling the pirates, I picked up a... Uh, just near the tail end, I picked up uh, some pirate notes uh, that made mention of Queen Zuleika's treasure. And it's out there somewhere in one of these wrecked ships. Witcher has a good idea where it is, so we're going to go look. And, you know, uh, the pirates never got around to it. Now, I have to be careful moving forward here because of a few reasons. 73 of 90 in, in inventory weight, in carry weight... That's one of the problems. I'm carrying a lot of blades here and a lot of stuff that I want to sell and I need to get rid of. Um, and actually, you know what? I think I need to get my Swallows re -hotkeyed. I did meditate between episodes, got the bottle refilled. You know, I've got enough al alkalest right now that I can, I can do a little meditating. Now, the problem for me right now is that um, my steel sword, the one I like to carry, the Novigrad Longsword, which is... Just, it's the best steel sword I have by far, you know. And it's nearly, nearly completely broken at 16% of weapon integrity. Now, I don't know how ineffective the weapon becomes. It could be that I've only lost those nine points there that you see in the red in parentheses next to the hammer. Nine points of damage per second or per slice, right? Um, what worries me is that if it gets down to 0% weapon integrity, that the weapon could break entirely and be ir irreparable, you know, irreparable at this point, at that point, right? So, uh, I've just decided to push it off to the side. I pulled out my Wild Hunt Warrior Sword, which is quite a bit weaker, but it has a couple of decent buffs on there. Well, mainly the 25% critical hit damage bonus. So, I'll wield that for the time being. Hopefully, we don't encounter too many more human opponents and foes along the way, at least before... I get back into town and get some repairs done. The Silver Sword is standing up pretty nicely right now. 93%. And I have a feeling, since we're going to be heading out to the water, that anything out there is probably just going to be, you know, like a drowner anyway. So, 
Uh, so with all that said and all that rundown, I guess we will set off. And let's go and get ourselves a little treasure, Vitcha. Yes. And I guess quick saving it before we do. Probably a good thing. You know what? I may not have to swim here. Let's see. Is there a boat on the shoreline that's still, well... Still steerable. No, it doesn't look like it. There's nothing there. Everything's in tatters and splinters and, and just a mess, you know. All right. Oh, look at this now. Out on this little aisle. Looks like a noon wraith. Looks like a noon wraith. Well, oh me, oh my. What do you know? We've got some guarded treasure here. Let's get the uh, specter oil on. Shields up. Sword at the ready. Quick save one more time. I don't know why. <laughs> Felt as though it was required, though. Alright. Get out of the way, little crab. A great... 15! Level 15. Oh my god. Oh my god. What are you getting yourself into here, Hertzie? Geralt? Was this your bright idea, sir? Could be a good little warm-up for, uh, for Jenny of the Woods. Oh, she... God damn it, took my shield down. And just ripped into my health. Just ripped into it. Don't play stupid here, my bitch. I may, I may not even be able to battle her just yet. Definitely gonna get a swallow. I think it'd be foolish not to drink it. Drink it. Drink it if you got it at this point, bitcher. Let's see. How are we doing? How are we making it? Tell you, she's doing a good number on me. got to be a counter-attack game against these these uh, high-level wraiths, you know. You're gonna have to be aware the shield's gonna go here soon. <laughs> Whether I want it to or not, you know. Goddamn. Let's get the trap down for starters. Shields up, bitcher. Don't you turn your back on me, you foul hag, you. Creature of air and misery. My shield's still up? Yeah, it's still floating. There. We'll get it up one more time for good measure. Oh no. The disappearing act. Oh, get away from them. And this was one of the... Uh, I, I find that, you know, looking back at the, the fight with Jenny, Jenny of the Woods, that was one of my major mistakes. Um, was that I tried to battle the summoned dark mistresses that she called in. You know? Whereas I probably should have just stayed away from them, because every time you get, you know, you get within proximity of the creatures, they, they start just sucking your soul dry, you know? Well, in the case of the Noon Wraith, she licks it dry with that giant tongue of hers, yes. <laughs> she licks your, <laughs> your, your, you know, here she comes again with them. She licks your, uh, your soul away, your life force from you. All right. Well, it's definitely good. We're definitely doing a little bit here. Like I'm feeling like I'm making a little progress against it. Good thing. Let's get All right. I'll probably benefit from a little more spectral. Right? Well, I, I did a good uh, slicing and dicing job there. I think I got her a little angry in the process as well. 
we continue in our hacking and slashing ways. Turn this thing to ribbons. Oh, and she's angry. She's going all banshee on you there, Vitcher. Careful now, sir. Oh, here we go. Time for a swim. <laughs> Vitcher just comes in here to cool off. <laughs> Wipe the sweat from your brow, sir, and prepare for round, I don't know, 17 at this point, whatever it is. Come on, get in here. Would you like to perhaps battle on the other side of the aisle, my wraith? I'm certainly up for anything, yeah. This is all about you, I Oh, she got you there, Victor. She slapped you good. She slapped you a little silly, I have to admit. All right, let's put a little distance between myself and her while I go in for a little specter oil. A little dab of it, yes. Along my silver sword. Oh, damn, she closed the gap fast. Nearly caught me off guard there. Come on, come on, get that shield up. Ah, oh, the trap's gone. Oh no, get away, get away. Into the drinks. No, 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 no. They're real close there. Real close. Okay. Replenishing. Trap down. She called in her witches three, or whatever you want to call them. I thought she had there for a second. Whoa, 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 we lost the trap. Power striker. Time to go off there. Oh, and I paid for it. Lost of my Quen integrity. Oh, she is an angry one, Vetcher. Are you kidding me? Just as I put down the trap. Unbelievable! Get in here! Fight me properly, please! Oh, damn. That hurt a little bit. Gonna need a new trap here. A little thunderbolt in as well. Fucking really carve at it. Seems quite, quite enraged, quite livid. Oh, of course, I should have known. I should have known. Perhaps we should seek refuge on the other side of the island. Shields up, bitch, huh? Alright, a good little scrap, you know? A real, you really have to work at some of these, you know? I could have probably just avoid, you know, I'd probably best to avoid her at this point, but screw it. Oh, damn. Oh, no. Into the drink. Got one springing up right there. You got it there just in time, sir. What is that over there? There's something else flying around now as well. Oh my god, we've got another one in here. Are you a night wraith? Level 15. There's no way. What you? Oh my god. Well, let's get rid of the noon wraith then. You know what? The night wraith it must have come in here at six o'clock. Oh my god. Well, if I'd known that, what I'm gonna have to do. What I'm going to have to do is come back at, like, noon. 
I can't I can't take on two of them at once. Or can I? No, I think it I think it would be a pretty foolish endeavor. Oh yeah, there's no way. There's no way this is happening. <laughs> Let's just run. Just run. All right, we will return though. Yes, we will. There's some loot there somewhere, you know. It's guarded treasure, that's for damn sure. And I don't think I can actually access it. Like, I don't think I can even weasel my way in there and pick the uh, pick the chest clean. Uh, because the pop-up hasn't, hasn't shown up, even though I went... I think I went wandering right on by it, didn't I? So, I don't know. It cost me a swallow there. Alright, what, what are we dealing with here? Oh, <laughs> look at this mess. Look at this bloody mess. Come on. Alright, here we go, here we go. All right. Oh, nice <laughs> a little water. <laughs> it's not like that's in short supply down here, is it? All right. Where is this damn loot? Around here somewhere. Do I have to get right in there? You know what? I think I, there it is, right in there. Oh, you got drowners closing in on you here, Gerald. Oh no, they're gonna drown you. They're oh no. <laughs> They're gonna truly earn their name here. Their namesake. <laughs> Grabbing me by the goddamn ankle and <laughs> pulling me down to the bottom of the river. Unbelievable. Alright, Witcher. Let's get shields up before we go in there this time. Alright. I got a small window of opportunity here. I think I need to get right inside this ship, don't I? Like, right in there. I got one closing in on me. Yeah, there it is, right there. I can't, I can't seem to get in. Oh, oh, oh! I got a drowner closing in on me. Grab it all. There we go. Queen Zulek is treasure. You know what, I don't know what I got. I was grabbing at it so quickly. Because <laughs> I heard him. I heard him closing in on me. I just wanted to get the hell out of there. All right, he's still pursuing, too. The bugger that he is. I'll tell you, the Witcher, he swims real fast topside, but uh, not worth a damn when he's fully submerged. And they're still giving chase here, Witcher. Oh, he's gonna... Oh, no! Oh, no. Yeah, well, really? Water? Come on. Filthy developers is what that is. Swimming out here in all this water, and they're giving me water in the goddamn loot chests. Put my life on the line. That I'm putting my life on the line for. Screw it, there's way too many drowners right here right now. Oh, damn. There's a little bit more loot right down here, though. Or something. Actually, you know what that's gonna be? Buckthorn, I bet, yeah. Yep, yep. Oh, I've got like three of them. Hot on your heels, Vetcher. Swim it, sir. Oh my god. Or you're gonna be drowner lunch. Just get out of there. Oh my god. Oh no! Ambush. <laughs> Alright. He, he clearly swims faster. I know this, too. I just made mention of it. He clearly swims faster. When he's, uh, when he's atop the... Um, on, on the surface of the water. Alright, now I have to wonder what am I gonna do here. Um, how am I looking for episode time? I'm trying to think. I'm probably about halfway through the episode. You know, I have to imagine that if I can take down that Noon Wraith at the Guarded Treasure location. Alkalest, nice, nice. If I can take it down, I'd probably get a good a good chunk of experience for that, you know. I think if I'm going to go after it, though, it's going to have to be... Well, I don't know if, if it has to be right at... At noon, you know, I wonder if it will still be lingering about the area 
at like six o'clock in the morning. Is that when it will be when it will first appear? I think whatever I do, if I decide to go over there and actually try and battle either the noon wraith or the night wraith, that I have to do it. I have to commit to either the night or the day, and can't be there, you know, in the middle of the two, because it's definitely it's definitely a drawn out conflict. Looks you know? like rain. Thank you, Vitcher. <laughs> Vitcher has a real knack for stating the obvious, apparently. Anyway, we got somebody over here. What is this now? Oh, are you kidding me? Pirates returning? Sir, this area has been cleansed by the Vitcher. Did you not see my calling card? What, with all the removed limbs? Yeah, it's strewn about. Don't let him catch his breath! Curses. Curses is right, sir. Curses. Oh, come on. Loving it. Get my counter strike in. Set you ablaze, sir. And just burn to death, please. Thank you. Alright. Well, at this point, you know, I could be smart to head for mid cops. Get some repairs in. Well, I don't want to meditate right now because I don't want to go through yet another Alkalist, is really my thinking here. So let's have a good look. Let's have a look and see what else is possible right now. We got a little something over here. We got another little something out here. Some more sunken treasure or something. Some more drowners that will have to be avoided. Now we've got something down here. This could be decent. So could this, in fact. Let's head down here and see what this is going to be all about. Where you at, Rochi? And let's have a little water. Oh, I've got some a nice collection of water coming in here now. Just to get the health up, just to top it off, or, or, or damn near top it off. Run, Roach. Alright, again, forced to back away from yet another wraith. A little disappointing. What is this here? Whoa! <laughs> I don't know. Uh, quick saving it. Let's go! Baddies. Refugees camp. Come on. They're giving you fair warning here, Vetcher, apparently. They don't want your kind around here. You're just gonna sit there and taunt me, sir. You will suffer. Cut him down, power strike it. I need to deal with the crossbowmen. They're always, they're like the bane of each of these fights. They're just, they're just such a nuisance. You know? Because they'll continue to just mess with your mojo. I'll tell you, that's a lot of guys. Look at this guy swinging at me with the crossbow. He clearly took exception to what I had done to his buddy. He's gone. Nice, nice. Loving it. There we go, another one down. This guy wondering what's happening. He's about to lose his head, me thinks. Oh no, dude got a good slice in on me there. Shields up. <laughs> I'll tell you, this is crazy. Yet another crossbowman? Are you kidding me? Get out of here, sucker! Well, I took out the last of your kind. Yes. Damn it! They've really got some good range on that running attack, you know? They really commit to it. Alright, here we go. Now I'm ready for a scrap, gentlemen. The leader right here taunting me. Oh, 
This guy's done. Oh no. Then again. Gonna need the shield up here. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Damn it, that's not. Oh no. Oh, bloody hell. Time to end this. I'd say they almost have too much range on that uh, that running attack, but it certainly makes things interesting. Like, look at that. I can't sidestep it at all, you know. Oh, there we go. I actually got away from it. I'm surprised. Alright, that's it for my swallows. I need to hold the shield up so that I can actually get get some use out of my other signs. Power striking me, eh, sucker? Fine then. You'll never learn. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> These guys are making me a little nervous at this point. There we go. You, you're done. Feel my wrath now, sucker. Glad I stood my ground with the block there. Oh, nice. Getting the counterattack. Killing one man out right there. Good, good. Counterattack on the leader yet again. Shields doing their job for me, saving my life. All right. You're done, sir. You as well. Oh, I would have loved to have been able to do the leader with a little more style, but that will certainly do the job. And this was a refugee camp, what, run over, overrun by, by renegades? I'm not sure. These appear to be the refugees. Peace restored, perhaps. 120 XP, loving it. Are you liberated? 50 crowns. Went through quite a few swallows there. In fact, all three of them. Or the two I had left, I guess. And their idol restored to its former glory. And the townsfolk perhaps grateful. Perhaps some of the bigots here. Their impressions of vetchers, mutants, and... Well, and other minorities has, uh, has changed, you know. Witcher doing a good job, not only for himself... Not only to line his pockets, not only for these people, but for the minorities of this land who suffer prejudice at the hands of these, uh, of the humans, yes. Anyway, is there anything here? It looks like I've got another herbalist available to me. I've got a lot of loot to be picked up as well. Um, but if I go stripping down all these corpses, I mean... <laughs> Another grilled chicken. Oh, oh, get away from that. Goddamn beehive or something. We'll just leave that alone. I could... Well, let's grab the steel short sword. I've already got one in my inventory. What I need is a pro... I wish there was a proper merchant here, but I think it's... Nothing more than an, uh, than an herbalist.
I'll tell you, that was a big group of guys, you know? Oh my god. I, I, there was a point there, just the way that they were closing in as quickly as they were, with those running slashes, that I really, I didn't think I was gonna... <laughs> I didn't think, I didn't think I was going to, uh, gonna survive that fight. Oh my god, quiet down! I was just stretching my arm, youngin. Alright, well... Oh! What is that now? A couple of Skelega Gambsons here. Oh yeah, it's one of these. I, 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 I think I picked up a couple of them, or at least one of them when I was in the Elven Ruins. I think I've seen them before, seen the design. Alright, let's head over for the... The Herbalist here. Or I guess it's a peasant. No, no, it's this fella here. What? <laughs> what do you mean, what? Sucker, these <laughs> ungrateful people. Let's see what you have. Anything interesting? I, you know, I'd love for, to be able to get rid of some of these weapons right here and now. I'm 88 of 90, so it's clearly going to come down to me making a run into town. This seems to be a great method for getting the herbalists out there, you know. If you're running short on Alkalest, find one of these locations that need that need to be liberated, you know. You're going to get the herbalist that's going to roll into town. At least that's what's happened both times I've done this now. And uh, and you'll have a healthy supply of alkalest at your disposal. And in fact, I'm going to buy a couple. Because I'm about to burn through another one. That should do. I think, in fact, I think it's the same man. <laughs> I think it's the same man from down a couple of episodes ago down the shore. <laughs> Ridiculous. Or last episode, in fact, wasn't it? Yeah. Alright, well, I don't think he's going to take anything, no, that I really want to get rid of. Unfortunately. So. That'll do. Huh. Huh. Oh, well. Huh. You, sir. That's what I think of you. Alright, let's take a look at the map and see where exactly we've, we've ended up. I'm, uh, I'm... I'm definitely going to want to return out here soon for some revenge. I I may not be able to to, to beat Jenny next time I, I, I do battle with her, but I can certainly beat this damn thing. I just need it to be one-on-one, -on -one, not, you know, me and the Noon Wraith, or, or not Geralt versus Noon Wraith and Night Wraith simultaneously, right? Um, I guess we'll head for this. I'll check it out. I don't know what it's going to be. Uh, what I want to do here first... is get a meditation in and let's get a good meditation in oh nice the rain passed that is spectacular we're gonna quick save it and where's Rochi at where's Rochi? there we go <laughs> Rochi going in for a little grab ass on uh, on that peasant woman. <laughs> Made her squeal a little bit. I think she enjoyed it, in fact. Rochi, you hound you. Yes. <laughs> go, go. All right, fantastic. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> We've definitely got some baddies here. They caught sight of you here, Venture. Um, let's see. I wonder what the ham will do. All right, let's eat that, and let's get the ham hot keyed. I'm just going to chill here for a second, have ourselves a meal, get a little health back. I'll probably have the two ham sandwiches, and then maybe a water to, to just to chase it all down, to wash it all down. Actually, the two ham sandwiches should do the trick. I think at this point I can probably just comfortably go back to my swallow and prepare for battle. Oh, 
Oh, damn. I'll tell you, there's some strong numbers here. Some strong numbers. And these damn crossbowmen. Or, uh, I guess they're not even crossbowmen. Simply archers. Gotta be aware there's a second one out there. Oh, no. Hopefully the uh, the archer gets one of his men in the back. That's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> All right. Come on, finish him off here, bitch. Nice. <laughs> we took his bow arm as a prize. Damn it! I was trying to do a power strike. He didn't quite. Uh, it just didn't trigger. I don't know if it was input lag or what it was but it cost me some health there in the process all right i need to be aware that archer he's gonna want to pull out his bow again i can i can see it already damn it come on come closer there we go power strike but he, he kind of blocked it even though he was knocked a little stupid here we go i knew he was gonna pull this sucker out I just knew it! That's right. Just relentless here, bitch, until he's dead. There you go. I'm loving it. Oh, here's the leader. Gotta watch out. I don't think I'm gonna be able to block his, uh, his big, his big hack with that axe. Oh, my shield came off. Oh, damn. Down it goes again. Time for a swallow. <laughs> Burn suckers. He's done. Oh, there's a power strike for you, my good man. You fought formidably, but not well enough, clearly. Oh no! I was trying to... Uh, he threw a little change up in there. That power stray. I was trying to do the uh, the counterattack. It was enough to throw me off though. Oh no. Oh no! Get out of here. Guy making one final, just kind of death charge my way. Oh no! God damn, was ever knocked stupid there. You're done, sir. Loving it. All right. Great little fight. Again, the combat is to die for in this game. It really feels nice. It's challenging, but it's smooth. It feels good. You know, you, you want you want all of that. And even, you know, the, the kind of the mass group that comes at you, they all fight, not all of them, but there's enough differences in the way they fight and skill levels out there. You can sense it, you know. And you can sense it. It almost feels like you know often, and I, I think I made note of it there, in that last encounter. Um, there, there were instances where it really felt like, like, uh, just as the, some of them were near death. You know, they were putting putting forth just a little bit more effort. You know, to uh, to slay the Vicha. All right, I'm uh, I'm really close to capacity here at this point. How are we looking? And I can't believe it, but did did that battle, or those the, the combination of those last two battles I got into, did it ever do a number on this Wild Hunt Warrior Sword? Oh my God! All right, we're right at 90 pounds now. I'm gonna have to drop something. 
trying to find what's really not worth it. What's worth the least among the weapons I'm carrying. I think it's probably going to be those short swords I picked up. I had no idea they were, they were such garbage. Alright, so... I'll drop that, and... I'll drop that as well. We're down to 87. And I'll even get rid of that one, just to see... What I get out of here. A couple of white wolf hides, some silver. The blunt crossbow bolt. El Ghoul decoction, nice. A little more Nilf Guardian lemon, looking for that. Danian lager and some hunting trousers. Now, how am I doing for weight? We're at 86, so that really didn't amount to much. However, we got an Overgrad longsword there, master item. No, <laughs> oh, no. And some wolves wanting to move into the area, apparently. And a Novigrad Longsword. All right, overburdened. Here we go. Um, Geralt is carrying too many items. If you load yourself down with too much loot, you won't be able to run or sprint, right? You can check how much weight you're carrying in the inventory panel, right? Get rid of unwanted items by throwing them on the ground, selling them, or getting a craftsman to dismantle them. Okay. We'll get the horse over here. I'm going to have to wrap this here real soon. It may be smart to do it right now, but... Uh, let's see, where are we now? I'll tell you, we really worked this uh, this coastline over. Got quite a bit done. There were a lot of points of interest out here. Many of which have been explored. Many still need to be down here, you know. Um, and I do want to get back to that, and I want to get into town. Clearly, I need to ride for town at this point. So we'll get the marker up. Try and avoid any more conflict. Need to get repairs in. I'm gonna have to do buying and selling. And um, whoa, what I what I was interested in was to see if I got any. Did I get any XP for that little bandit battle? I don't, you know, I don't, I don't think I did. <laughs> oh damn! This mad pack of wolves. I'm completely burdened. All right, it doesn't look like they're gonna move into town, which is a good thing. I didn't, I didn't want to be drawing them into mid-cops, you know. These poor people have suffered enough, what, with Jenny of the Woods nearby. Take All it right. easy. Alright, first things first. If a man employs a pack of solemn boys, he'll be devoured by wood snake, a boiled dragon with seven heads and ten horns. Hit up the, uh, yes. Our smithy here, our armor. You ain't safe unless you got a Gabrielle. <laughs> the auto crank one handed Gabrielle ensures you get the first shot and the last word. Little do they know, Gabrielle is in fact his daughter. He's looking for a husband for the poor. The poor wench, yes. <laughs> what one handed and all. The one handed Gabrielle, yes, that's what they call her. It's quite cruel. These people of Medcobs have no respect for the disabled. Anyway. Let's <laughs> let's see what you got, sir. Let me have a look at your stuff. Might as well do a little buy and sell and tail into the episode. And okay, the Vico Varo blade. Well, the mace is gonna go. Like stuff like this, I know I'm gonna sell. The small blackjack, blackjack there, blackjack here. Oh my god. Oh no! Am I buying this? No, I'm not. Okay. Oh my god, I was oh, I nearly had a heart attack there. Thought I was spending just all of my money on blackjacks. Oh damn, spooked myself. Alright, another one. That's a lot of bloody blackjacks. A lot of weapons were picked up in my travels recently. Oh wow, wow. That's uh that's be I think that's actually better. This Novigrad longsword. This pair of Novigrad longswords I most recently picked up, I think they're actually better damage-wise than uh, than my other Novigrad longsword. I had, of course, the buffs on this one are, are certainly superior. All right, now the hatchets. You know, he this guy's going to be just loving the vetcher, you know, dropping off all these weapons. Another hatchet, another mace, lots to go here. I'll tell you, he's uh, he's certainly st strapped full of cash as well. Oh my God. 
Um, I don't think I'm gonna want that, so I will sell it. The Avelin Longsword can go. Okay. Um, this one's not too bad. It's missing, actually. Yeah, it just doesn't compare to those, though. That can go. <laughs> Look at all this stuff. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at this rusty Velen sword. When did I pick this up? What were you thinking with that adventure? And a pickaxe. Ridiculous. Alright, I got some hunting trousers. Oh, they're actually... Looking a little bit better. Alright, let me put that there. We'll get rid of the hatchet. I need to move everything up the list. Is there a sort button? I don't know. Alright, that I want to keep. This. This. Mm, this can go. The Vicovaro blade. I don't need it. Alright, this, uh, <laughs> I actually came across a common shirt. Oh, he doesn't have enough coin left. Really? You've cleaned him out, Vitcher. Alright, I guess what, I, what I'm going to have him do then is get some repairs in. On the silver sword, yes. My Novigrad longsword, most certainly. 85. Cost me a pretty penny for that one. Um, the uh, Verdant Archer's Gambeson, yes. All right, you know, I think these are actually better, you know, so I might as well repair them. These hunting trousers, are, or tracker's trousers, are actually really nice. They've even got a glyph slot in there. Lots of buffs on there. All right, so those are the ones I'm wearing at 14 armor. And I think all of these can probably be sold. We'll repair that up. I think I'm probably going to sell this Wild Hunt Warrior Sword at this point. And keep one of these. Which one's the better one? This one right here. Okay. Now then, back to a little selling. Let's see. So, all of these boots I wanted to get rid of. The shirt can go. That can go. But those I'm going to equip. These I'm going to hold on to. I just want a proper top. I mean, I can try. I'll probably try in a few different combinations of things between episodes, as things are about to wrap here. I want to sell the weapon. I'm actually, I actually have equipped. So long. <laughs> Witcher, cheer up, sir. Cheer up. And let's get. I guess we'll get the Novigrad longsword, the magic version, back in there. Keep the other one as backup. And I'm going to want to get these hunting trousers on. I believe they're better. For the most part. For the most part. And these are both going to be sold. You ain't safe unless you got a... Sir, I have no interest in your daughter. Thank you. Show me what you have. Let me have a look at your stock. <laughs> Alright. And I guess that's going to go. That's going to go. And everything else can stay.
And I think between episodes, I may sit down and just have a good look at some of the, uh, the diagrams and different crafting recipes I have available. Just try and get my bearings with all of that and a better understanding of what's required and what needs to be broken down. So I may accomplish a couple of things between episodes, I'm not really sure. Look at the mess I've made of his inventory. Good lord. His one- <laughs> His one-armed Gabrielle is going to be, you know, organizing his inventory shelves, his storeroom for quite some time. Yeah, it's what, with just the one arm and all. Anyway, people, I think uh, I'm going to wrap things right there. Um, and say goodbye to our, so long. our smith here, our armor for the time being. And I must say farewell to all of you. We've run a little long at this point. We have finally returned to mid-cops. I don't have quite the experience I would like to go and square off against Jenny of the Woods just yet. Um, and uh, you know what, before I do, in fact, look at this, we've got the armor's table. We've got the uh, the grindstone just over there, so I'm going to have to remember that before I go up, go up against her as well. Get you get use out of those, get the, get the buffs in there, and then go and deal with Jenny of the Woods, or try to. But before that, it's not going to happen at the start of next episode. It may not happen next episode at all. I want to get that level up to 7. There are other things that could be done. So I'll be looking into uh, getting that, ex you know, finding something to gain some XP. There's a missing person in town. There's Kira Metz. There's the Noon Wraith out at sea. And uh, a couple of other points of interest that are yet to be uncovered in the area. So it'll be something along those lines, a combination of a few of those things. All leading up to our, you know... Round two with Jenny of the Woods. So, appreciate y'all stopping on in. I hope you had a good time. I hope to see you next time. But of course, and as always, until then, remember why it hurts. Later on.